how to use chaos and add it to the sequencer so you can render it. Let's go. First, I'm gonna create a Unreal Engine 5.3 project and I'm gonna enable retracing, call this fracture and hit create. After you're done, click here, content drawer, dock in layout so we have better control. And before we go into the tutorial, I need you to go to your settings, plugins, and type in movie ren, movie render, and restart. Let's go ahead and create a new level. But first things first, I'm gonna create a new folder, call it fracture, because you really need this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create a new level, also fracture and go to settings project settings in case unreal engine crashes go to maps and fracture fracture so this means when you launch unreal engine 5 like this project it's gonna take you directly to this map I'm gonna save go ahead and create a landscape create and start adding your light. Now I have my scene ready, let's start fracturing. I'm gonna go ahead and click on window here and place actor and I'm gonna drag and drop this beside the outliner because I need this area here. I'm gonna go ahead to select shapes, drag and drop a cube, make it bigger and then go to selection mode, fracture select this cube and hit new I'm gonna put this in the folder I created and I'm gonna keep the name the same way and I'm gonna hit create now go down here you see cluster click on that I'm gonna keep this the same just in case you have different number here uh, minimum and maximum number clusters put them to 8 scroll down we have amplitude and I'm gonna set this to 5 and the frequency to 0 0.05 uh, this actually gives more depth when the wall breaks down and I'm gonna hit fracture now if you go up and explode amount increase this you can see that there is depth here look at that it's not sharp it's actually really good I'm gonna set this back to zero and I want this area to have more fracture in it so I'm gonna start selecting by holding shift and left click and I'm gonna select the areas that look really big to me here in the middle okay and I'm gonna back go back here minimum number clusters I'm gonna hit this to 15 15 and fracture now you can see I have smaller parts I can maybe tweak it a little bit more 10 10 all right that's better now that I'm done with this I'm gonna go here and go back to selection and in here I need you to like uh, click on the plane and search color and uncheck this I'm gonna add this material Let's be clear about something very, very important. I think you might ask me this question. You cannot add nanite to this object after you add fracture. It doesn't work. I've tried it. Sometimes it just crashes and sometimes it just doesn't allow me. So it doesn't work. So don't forget to save all. Now go to all, search for bomb and drag and drop this raise it move it away from the wall and control B so it takes me where it's located let me explain something here very important so I'm gonna hit these three dots and I'm gonna use simulate I'm gonna hit play and I'm gonna move this near the wall and watch what happens it breaks the wall you can see it's breaking it and that's really cool but that's not what we need actually so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the simulation move this towards the wall and use this anchor field and set it on each side of this cube and what this does 
look if I increase the scale of this you can see that I'm scaling on this area because I don't want this area to break that's the use of the anchor field and I'm gonna hit space control rotate sorry alt rotate put it also here because I also don't want this area to get destroyed and I'm gonna do the same thing for the other now I'm gonna click on the wall and I'm gonna go here initializing fields and I'm gonna click add element four times because I have four anchor fields now set this to anchor field two three and four and watch when I hit play just click on the uh, click on this bomb and hit play and now you can see that these sides are not getting destroyed what I actually want is this wall to explode on both sides so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the bomb and use bomb check this and bomb maximum scale increase it okay that's a lot and go to delay amount and set this to zero click on start simulation and there you have an explosion how to add to your sequencer the most confusing question go here and add level sequence hit save and go and select your um, wall go to actor chaos create cache manager and save this go ahead and find the uh, chaos cache manager and you can see here a cache mode there it's on record now if you hit simulation it starts recording so what I'm gonna do is actually click on this and I want to move this when it explodes so it doesn't bug a uh, like a little bit here so I'm gonna hit play and move this here you can see I have really cool explosion you might see a few bugs here but that's normal it's Unreal Engine 5 and hopefully they will fix this click on the chaos cache manager and the cache mode set it to static pose and when you play with the time here you can see that I have the um, animation for this the recorded animation so I'm gonna drag and drop this to my sequencer and I'm gonna hit track start time and add a new keyframe hit this so it automatically changes whenever I change this put this to one or more actually and go ahead and go down to view range increase this and put it to 180 let's play that's really cool you can play around and tweak the settings so you can have really good no buggy animation I want to also add slow motion go to track and find time keep this one add a keyframe go forward a little bit I for example need it here and click on this value and put it to 0 0.05 let's see I need this a little bit more forward yeah this is perfect this is really perfect now you need to set your camera go to here and cinematic camera and you can add another viewport by going to the window viewports and add another viewport and click on the per, uh, perspective camera where is okay there it is I'm gonna drag and drop this here now I'm gonna go and speed up the process a little bit I'm gonna create a small scene now that I created my scene I want you to do a few more steps so go and click on the bomb type here visible uncheck this in the uh details here 
scroll down until you find bomb volume and also uncheck this now when you render this actually it doesn't show finally the last step go to your window cinematic movie render queue and this is when you activate the plugin the movie render click here delete this settings click on that and then go click on console variables png now it's going to render a png so i'm going to keep this the same i'm going to go here put this to 64 so it renders the image 64 times for higher quality and console variables i'm going to need you to go to console variables click on that four times i already have this here and i'm going to put this also in the description you can copy and pa paste these these are actually high quality renders for example it's going to render the ambient the global illumination the reflection the shadow and that's really good if you want your uh, pngs to be really high quality finally we go here you can keep this to 24 frames per second i'm gonna put it to 30. i'm gonna just set my directory so where do i want this to be rendered so maybe in the folder of fracture uh new and render hit select folder accept i'm gonna go here make it less go back and i'm gonna hit render local you can see here that the animation is actually in the sequencer and it's actually rendering it as a movie thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video see you later